All right. I would have turned right and go down there, but instead I'm turning left and going this way. So the Thames, it is. I thought I saw something moving. Ah, oh, yeah, it did. It's a squirrel. Blackbird, can you see it? There you go. Oh, look, dead Christmas tree. Gee, I wonder who's responsible for dumping that body. Daffodils. You can tell spring is in the air because everywhere in parks and stuff there are crocuses and snowdrops blooming. And there you go. There's daffodils. In some places you cannot fly that flag because it's deemed to be racist. Some councils in Australia have banned people from flying the Australian flag in case you offend your neighbours who are non-Australian. And I read on Facebook the other day that um, anti-Trump protesters marched out onto a freeway and uh, they're all university students and uh, one female got hit by a car and she's now suing the university for failing to keep her safe if you don't believe me google it it happened so these idiots walk out onto a freeway protesting Trump and one of them gets hit by a car I call it natural selection now I'm guessing I have to go that direction because that's basically due north. And another squirrel. Why are you making such a funny noise? Hey? Uh, can't find you. It's really hard to see. There he is. Okay, got it. Maybe it's a youngster who feels threatened by me being here. I don't know. I've never heard a squirrel make that noise before.
Manor Way. This is quite a nice area. Little homes are well maintained, you've got the little river running through it. Lots of parkland, people walking their dogs, kids playing. It's quite pleasant. Okay, I think I'm nearing the Thames. It's just that uh, at the far end there, that moat hilly grass area kind of looks like a barrier for the Thames again to prevent um, possible flooding oh no I'm wrong I see structures and stuff on the other side and street lights oh well crack on There'll be cannons. This is where I am. Normally I'd follow that pathway there, go all the way down Erith is here. But I'm thinking, thinking of going along here, go past the water treatment place, which is that one there in the middle of the screen, and then turn, go down through this nature reserve. Follow this road along and cut through to there. Yeah, I might do that. Something different. I've not walked through here before. I've walked past this before, but I've never noticed it. It's an old, disused golf driving range. You can see the cubicles there where people stand and play golf.
we're getting a little bit of rain now. You can actually see it off in the distance as a haze. So I might need to get my uh, rain jacket out. Let's see how heavy it gets. like these old buildings. That character, not like the stuff to build nowadays. Come and go, move on. So, it's a light misty rain. That combined with uh, the high winds. Um, enough to give you hypothermia with the wind chill factor. So you always got to be prepared for this stuff. Don't say. variety and seagulls and some crows and over the far side there's some, there's some gannets and this is the outlet from the water treatment place perfect spot to stop and have uh, a snack a drink
Okay everyone, um, my battery's flashing. I'm only halfway to Erith, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to film the rest of this. It's a combination of actually having uh, used up a lot of the battery power, plus the fact that um, it's cold. Cold weather tends to kill the batteries a lot quicker. A different story for your summertime. So it is flashing quite badly. So what I'll do is I'll end it here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.